हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर डिजिटल्स क्लास टुडे वी विल लर्न सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स टॉपिक लेट्स अर्न टायर टेन इन ऑर्डर टू सब्ट्रैक्ट पार्ट टू टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ आर लेसन लेट्स अर्न टायर टेन इन ऑर्डर टू सब्ट्रैक्ट we will do the left to over part of this lesson with this video take out page number 53 children we have done in our previous lesson that 110 is equal to 10 units we have understood that how to untie a 10 for increasing the number of units today we will revise what we have done in our previous lecture and the continuing part of this lesson we will take the help of this sum to understand the concept again here we are having the question subtract 35 minus 17 is equal to how much to solve this we are taking the help of this math sticks first we have to subtract 17 from 35 so first we will take the help of this table also we will write 35 in the proper column in 35 we are having 3 tens and 5 units and we have to subtract 17 so we will write below it in 17 1 ten and 7 units and put the sign of subtraction here now children here we are having the first number 35 so we are having here 35 means 3 tens and 5 units here we are having a bundle of 1 ten 2 ten and 3 tens 3 tens means 30 and 5 single units means 5 units so we will write 3 tens and 5 unit means 35 and from this we have to subtract 17 so from the unit place we will start subtracting it let us start we have to subtract the 7 from 5 remember children you have to subtract the below number from the above number here we are having 7 we have to subtract 7 unit from the 5 unit so can we able to do that no we cannot subtract 7 we cannot take out the 7 sticks from this 5 sticks because 5 sticks is are lesser yes so what we will do children yes we will take the help of untying method here what we will do we will untie a 110 so what we have to do we have to subtract 110 from this 310 so how much 10 how many 10 it will remain 210 then i will untie this 10 and put it in the unit column then tell me how many units now we are having here children yes 10 plus 5 means 15 units 
now it become 210 and 15 units yes now we will understand in this column here we are having smaller number above then the gr greater number so what we have to do we have to subtract 110 from this 310 then it become 210 and it will increase by 10 in the unit column means 5 plus 10 it becomes 15 now the units are bigger than 7 15 is bigger than 7 so can you tell me children can we subtract 7 from this 15 yes now we can subtract 7 from this 15 units let us take out 7 matchsticks from this 15 matchsticks One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then how many matchsticks are remaining in the unit column? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Means. Here we are left eight units, and how many tens? Two tens are remaining. From two ten, we have to subtract one ten. Two minus one, so I will remove this ten from this two ten. Then how many tens are remaining? One. Ten, one ten and eight units means eighteen. Means the answer is eighteen. So we will write here thirty five minus seventeen is eighteen. Like this, children, you can solve any of the subtraction problem with the help of untying. remember children when we cannot subtract any bigger number from the smaller number remember hence we borrow one ten from the unit tens column and make the ten units and add it to the unit column if we don't have the smaller number above then the below one then we don't have to take any tens from the unit children now we will understand the stories of subtraction with the help of this word problem let's read first in azila parishad school annual gathering In a zila parishad school annual gathering, seventy-eight of the eighty-one students took part. Then, how many students did not take part? Means in zila parishad school annual gathering, like we are having annual gathering, seventy-eight of the eighty-one students means. from 81 student 78 students took part in that gathering then tell me children how many students did not take part in it you have to find out the number of students who do, did not take part in the annual gathering so we will write or take out the information which is given in this word problem first we will take out what is given in this question here we are having 78 in 81 the total number of students are given and the number of student 
who have taken the part in the annual gathering so we will write here number of total students then we will write here the number of total students first in their proper column we are having number of total student 81 81 means 8 tens and 1 unit and 78 has taken part then number of students who have taken part in gathering so what is the number 78 7 in the unit column and 8 in the tens column and what is asked the next question is what is asked how many students did not take part so how to find out children how many students who did not take part so we'll write here number of students who did not take part they have to find out did not take part in gathering like this children to find out that what shall we do we have to take out the difference between the 81 and 78 from 81 student 78 student has taken part then how to find out the remaining students yes by subtracting so we will write here what shall we do subtraction so we will put the sign of subtraction here and we will start subtracting from the unit column here we are having 1 and 8 means we have to subtract 8 unit from 1 unit can we able to do that no because we are having smaller unit from that we have to subtract the bigger unit so it is not possible so what shall we do we will untie 110 or open this 110 or we borrow 110 from this 810 then how many tens are remaining here 7 after subtracting 110 and that 110 we will add it to this 1 unit 1 unit plus 10 is equal to 11 means we are having now 11 units now it becomes bigger than the 8 11 is bigger than 8 now we can able to subtract 8 from this 11 so what is children 8 11 minus 8 is 3 now we will start subtracting from the tens column 7 minus 7 that is 0 means here we are having 0 tens and 3 unit means the student three students only three students did not take part in gathering
like that children you have to solve the remaining sum which is given in your textbook or practice book children i hope you understood this concept of untimed i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe our channel